Okay, I'm here with Will, who's just come to the end of our program. Uh, Will, welcome. Um, would you mind just introducing yourself and telling us um, a little bit about yourself, including your age, and why you decided to work with us on the program? Yeah, hi, James. So uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a professional. I spend a lot of time at work. Uh, I've got a wife, a family of three girls, and uh, my age is 44 uh, and a half roughly. Um, and the reason I came to you guys, um, I'd known about you and I was put back in touch with you to have a look at the programs you had on offer. I'd really got myself into a position where I was doing some exercise, um, normally involving the dog, runs, that sort of thing. I had, before lockdown, done quite an intensive program of exercise and felt really good. Things had slipped. I hadn't kept up that intensity throughout lockdown. Well, I did to begin with, but then then it sort of petered off a bit. And I'd really got myself into a bit of a cycle of, you know, a few runs during the week and that giving me the impression I could probably go ahead and eat what I fancied and that clearly not happening. Um, and I wanted to kind of reboost, to re-engage and to try and, I suppose, take an element of control over how I felt. And then the main and key driver was an opportunity at work which would involve um, you know, sort of significantly more time and effort and pressure on me. And I knew that if I didn't get myself um, mentally and physically fit for that, uh, I wouldn't be able to discharge that properly. Mm, I love that. So you've got to answer my next question is kind of why now? Um, because you had that work challenge coming up, and you wanted to be you know, in tip top shape for it performance wise. And um, what were some of the challenges you thought you were facing coming coming into that period before you started? Um, I think the main one is, is, is the classic kick up the backside, the, what reason do I have to get up, get out of bed and do this? And I've got into a cycle of, well, actually the more sleep I have, the better, um, being kind to myself and thinking that that was not pushing myself necessarily physically. Um, so I think, um, I certainly, there's a big connection for me between my, um, sort of psychological health and physical health. I think it probably is for everybody. But I certainly find that if I am feeling strong, feeling um, healthy, um, then mentally I'm just much better prepared to deal with challenges. Um, so that that was why. And I was certainly feeling that. And then, of course, as I said, I had this thing on the horizon, um, which is still there, which I just want to be ready and fit for. And just to feel better about myself when I catch a reflection. Mm, awesome. I love that. I love that. I love what you said there about um physical and psychological health because I think a lot of people do overlook that but of course we're we're holistic beings and the two really are connected you know you, you can't really work on one without the other yeah um so what was it about about us and our program that decided you decided you wanted to work with us uh, well I suppose <laughs> two friendly people uh not pushy uh, we had an initial call didn't we and I think I did quite a lot of the speaking you listened um and it was really about you working out whether your program was the right right one for me, whether, you know, the sort of outcomes I wanted were appropriate. Mm -hmm. And for me, the feeling of, you know, is this a program I want to invest in? Am I going to be able to justify um, the time I'm going to spend? And just hearing about your approach, um, the fact that it's not sort of a faddy diet approach, the fact that it's holistic, um, I suppose – you know, there are pros and, pros and cons for the person who doesn't know anything about it is if it's holistic, oh my goodness, is this going to be very challenging from a life-changing point of view? Am I going to be able to keep this going? Um, but equally, I didn't want something that was just about, you know, try this fatty new diet that I knew I would only perhaps keep going for a week or two. Um, and I wanted that reset. I wanted that next stage of my life bit. So what really drew me to you guys was the, the midlife aspect of the program we know what it feels like to be your age with the challenges you've got in your life at this time, which I think is really powerful, really powerful, because if I'd known what I know now years ago, I wouldn't probably be in this position. I'd have kept healthier and physically fitter and not been quite so yo-yo. Um, but also um, I knew I to be happier, bluntly, I needed to change quite a lot of things um, and I know that I get a lot out of exercise, but equally, I knew I had to look at the way I was eating. I joke to my family that I have a fat gene which runs through my family. A doctor told me that once, actually. You have the fat gene that runs through your family, and you need to take care of it. And I've sort of poo-pooed that. But um, to a certain extent, 
you know, there is a lot of genetics going, obviously going on. And I know that I need to work harder and probably have a bigger deficit in terms of calories, for example, than a lot of other people. So I needed the whole holistic look at it, not just one piece. Thanks for that, Will. Thanks for that. So when you came into the program, what, what, what was it you were looking to achieve from it? So I was definitely looking for some weight loss. Um, I wanted to look better and, and feel better about catching reflections of myself. Yeah. Um, I wanted to feel stronger again. I wanted to have that feeling of get up and go and vim and vigor and, um, you know, be able to do 20 press ups when I wanted to and all that sort of stuff, which might sound a bit odd, but I just wanted to feel stronger. And, and, and having felt that in the past, you know, I do do activities like sailing and so on and so forth, where strength and core strength and all that sort of stuff is very useful. As I said, I run a bit as well. So core strength is very useful there. Um, but equally, I wanted to feel mentally healthier and um, uh, uh, to find better perspective, to find some more time for myself. Um, and that's about creating time. And that's what the program certainly offered, which was there's going to be no excuses here. You're going to be doing this. You're going to be doing it for yourself. And that's really powerful. So that's you know the main reason why I wanted to do it and why I was attracted to doing your program. Mm, okay, so we've talked about what you were looking to achieve. Now let's go on to the exciting bit, your results. Um, so can you talk us through um, kind of what your physical results were in terms of you know your, your weight loss, your strength, how many press-ups you could do, but also maybe more uh, also the mindset and emotional results, like how it's perhaps transformed your life in that respect. Yeah, so I mean, I suppose the headlines are that I, I I did lose the weight I wanted to lose. I've got I've definitely got further to go. It's not as I said before. It's not just a one month, two month, three month, four month, five month program. It's a lifestyle. So there's there's more progress I want from it. But I've I've lost five and a half kilos. Um, and bearing in mind you're building muscle and adding weight with muscle. That's 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 great. There is a bit more to go on the on the sort of leanness aspect of things. Um, and that's about managing where i am now perhaps plateauing a bit and then managing again through through um through through calories and then through exercise that i'm doing and making sure i'm really pushing myself through the full body exercise and so on and so forth um uh, mentally i feel much sharper the finding time for myself has been brilliant um I actually it, it's been quite an interesting curve I, I talked to you about this previously but but certainly after about three weeks there was this realization that this program was here to stay <laughs> and and the slight um worry that i wouldn't be able to keep up the pace well not a slight worry i was worried that i would not be able to keep up this pace and was this reasonable was what i'm asking of my body reasonable over the over the short medium and longer term um and having got over that in other words the answer folks was yes and and having got over that um uh, it's just been fantastic because I find this time for myself. It isn't actually very difficult to find the time. You know, there are, there are short cardio sessions you can do for 15, 20 minutes and you feel really good. And then on the days you've got more time, you can do the longer ones. Um, the full body, I can't say I really look forward to the full body stuff very much. I do I do find it painful. That's, that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be like that and your body's capable of doing it. So I'm um, pushing myself for that's good. And you definitely see the results. You can see the results. Um, one of the best ways is the encouragement to take photos, which I'm sure for some people is really daunting. But I've compared photo of me at the beginning versus photos of me on a basically on a monthly basis. And you can take real pleasure from seeing the progress that's made through those. Um, and I just feel better about myself. I, I've, you know, I've got clothes that fit me better. I've got the opportunity to go and wear some clothes that I wouldn't normally wear and feel better about myself. Um, and I've got sort of shorter, longer term gains for all those sorts of aims and goals for those sorts of things as well. So I've I've seen um, and then in terms of in terms of getting through, I mean, to begin with, on the cardio sessions, I was pressing pause and having to give myself longer breaks, wanting to keep up because my competitive nature wouldn't allow me to do less of anything. Um, but then I'd need longer breaks to totally keeping up really enjoying the, the sensation of working out with you guys and being pushed and doing the finishing and all that sort of stuff. So um, you can absolutely see the progress, but it takes time. It's not immediate. It does take commitment and effort, but the program doesn't push you um, to do more than you're capable of at any time, which I think is really important. You know, there's no point in saying you've got to do 15 push-ups in 20 seconds. 
because people won't be capable of it. Um, it's about doing what you can, but understanding you need to push yourself to see the results. And, um, you know, the regular reminders of burning through the fat, bur burning through the glycosin sh stores. Now you're sorted. Go for it. It's good. Enjoyed it. Awesome. I know you've worked so hard and uh, you really have been inspiring going through the program. I know, I know to other people going through the program and to us, you've been posting your, your morning exercise photos and all the rest of it. And, and your results have been incredible. I mean, I've, I've seen you from, from the start to now and yeah you can see a clear clear difference in your body shape so that's fantastic yeah um finally will what would you say to anyone else who's like thinking about taking the plunge on this but maybe a little bit unsure they're hesitating what, what would your advice be to them um i think you know it's fair to say there are loads of options around for people who want to get into exercise think about their diet and make changes the difference is with you and your program, your, your, your and Claire's program, is that you are focused on, on midlifers. You do understand what people are going through the psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, perhaps, and certainly physically what's happening. Um, and I hadn't really put two and two together on that. And I think intellectually, it, it's, it's relatively straightforward. Things start to slow down in your body. And so you need to take alternative action. Um, so what I would say is, there are obviously lots of options around for for this sort of thing, but if what you want is an appropriate, sensitive, um, and well sculpted program that will actually make long lasting changes, then 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 you guys have clearly got that nailed. And um, you know, I think you know the other thing is that nothing in life is free, and there is these things come at a cost. Um, and so actually, for some of us, it's, is this worth the expense? And that's difficult. You don't know till you try. And of course, courses aren't for everybody. But I do know you guys are very flexible. You're approachable. You know, the, you can have one-to-one -one sessions, the group sessions. You're available on email. So if people do have questions, there's just a huge amount of flexibility within that. Um, so I would say that it's been transformative for me. I've really enjoyed it. I, I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone who's thinking about it, because it is just more than going online and doing a video it's it's a proper program you're fully involved i haven't really talked about the community as well because of course you're part of a community you're doing that by meeting people online at the at the group sessions which are fantastic to hear how other people are getting on asking questions that you might not be or feel able or appropriate to ask and hearing what the answers are also encouraging each other to do things um you touched on the selfies i mean i i I, I like doing it because it's it does bring that accountability, the kind of I've done it, here you are, I feel proud of myself. Hopefully I'll get a couple of likes. It's supposed, I suppose it does all of that. But, um, you know, it's nice to see other people's progress too. And um, so, you know, I, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's been great. Awesome. And you have been great too, Will. Thank you so, so much for this. Really appreciate it. And let's carry on that training. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, James.